and welcome to A Cup of Conversation on BRT2 TV. This week I have a very lovely lady in the studio with me. All my guests are lovely, I say this every week. But I have a new friend. Her name is Fezile Karakur and we'll be talking about relaxed kids. Activity and relaxation classes for kids. Move, play, stretch, feel, breathe, relax and believe. We're going to find out more about Fezile and about her relaxed kids club. So. Let's say hello to this lovely lady. Hello, Fezle. Welcome to a couple of conversation. Hello. Thank you for inviting me to your show. You're more than welcome. Now, before we talk about relaxed kids, the topic of the day, let's find out more about you. Now, okay. obviously, like me, you're a London Cypriot, I believe. Yes, yes. Were you born here or in the UK? No, I was born and brought up in London, and um, I got married and moved to Cyprus. And how long have you been here in North Cyprus? Um, Twenty-five years. Wow. Yes. Very good. More than twenty-five years. Yeah. So pro probably most of your life here now. Yes. 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 Were you educated in the UK? Did you...? Yes. Um, I went to secondary school and then I went to college and I started to work for um, the government. I started working for Customs and Exiles. Mm -hmm. But then I just worked for about one and a half years and um, I got married. So I had to resign and move to Cyprus. And you had your family here? Yes. I had my children here and um, I worked at a couple of places but nowhere permanent. Um, I did bring up my own children. so. That's um, why I wanted to do, really, to bring up my children. So you, you gave your life to your children, and now well, they've grown up, aren't they? Yes, they're adults now, yes. They're adults. Yes. But you <laughs> have gone back to kids yes. with relaxed kids. Yes. So working with children, is that something that you always wanted to do, a dream of yours, or because you're such a great mother, you, you learn more about <laughs> kids? I mean, how did you get involved with relaxed kids or with kids in general? Yeah. Um, I've always had this passion with children. I love children, you know newborn to how um, they develop and how they're getting older. It's just like a dream, because I've seen it with my own children. And um, what I've been seeing around me as well, lots of children have been so occupied with this technology that's been going around. So because of my children have come into a certain age, they don't really need me as much as they needed me when they were younger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, looking around and thinking, what can I do with myself? And I love children so much. It just appeared in front of me, you know, it was meant to be seen. And um, I don't really believe in coincidence, but it just happened, you know. Yeah. Everything is meant to happen and get into place like a puzzle. Yeah. And I was in England uh, at the time last year. Uh, my son graduated from university, so we were there for the ceremony. And the relaxed kids class, um, they were having a weekend um, course. So I said, you know, this must be it. So I asked around made inquiries and then I went to um, Birmingham for the weekend by myself which was a big adventure for me because being married you usually go with your husband or you go with your children so I thought right this is the step for me to take and it was the best part of um, going to Birmingham to that course it changed my life completely. So just one weekend course yes. changed your life. You yes. thought it was the right time. And as yes. you say, you might not believe in coincidence or karma, <laughs> but in a way, it was the right time for you yes, to get involved was. with relaxed kids. So for those who don't know, who have never heard of relaxed mm -hmm. kids, what is relaxed kids all about? What was the course all about? Well, to begin with, um, this was started in 2001 by a lady called Marnetta. Mm -hmm. um, she was a children's entertainer and she could see um, the lack of concentration in children. And so she divides this relaxed kids. She started it out um, in that year. And throughout the years, it's progressed. And um, there's half a million homes in England alone with all the equipments and the books and everything and the techniques they're used in the homes. And they're in um, lots of schools in England. And it's all over the world at the moment now. So it's on the rise. It's on the rise. Actually, coincidentally, again, karma. Yes. See in, in the news now, especially in the UK, more about these uh, children being mindful children, yes. more about these things. So it must have been, again, because yes. you're coming into the studio, yes, maybe yes, I, yes. I'm noticing more. Maybe I wouldn't have noticed it if I hadn't uh, known that you were coming yeah. in. But um, it's very important, isn't it, for very. all of us, children and adults, to be more relaxed, to be more tuned with the environment, yes. to be happy people in general. Yes, yes. And that's what's the aim of this relaxed kids, because we can learn at every different ages, we can learn lots of things. But with children, if we teach them how to properly, uh, firstly to love themselves at a very young age and to show them different little techniques that these children can understand, that will be their lifelong you know, skills that they've got under their hands. So 
With this relaxed kids, as I said, it's for all age groups. But has, um, if you begin at a young age to learn these things, it's going to be with you for life. So that's what we're doing. So um, you can start off from being children, then they go on to be teenagers, and then they're adults, and then parents, and it's a long going train that's taking us somewhere. So relax, that's what it does. It's to help to calm these children, give them more confidence, to be able to be um, getting on with more um, with their friends, have good relationships. It's a lots of um, different things that these children come out with. So that's why it appealed to me, because I'm helping these children. So do you think that maybe this came out because so many children nowadays are unhappy at school or not confident in their, enough in themselves? And so it's good to teach kids at a young age yes. to, to be like this, to be relaxed kids, to move, play, stretch, feel, breathe, relax and believe. Yes. The, if, you in, if you teach them these things, these qualities, then they carry, do they really carry on through into adult life as well? Well, with that? hopefully they will. I mean, say for example, a child, because children are so innocent, yeah. when a child is trying to walk, they fall over, they get up again, they try again, they're walking and they don't stop because these children have got very innocent minds. So if we try to teach these children at a young age, you know, this is the way that we should be thinking, that will be with them for, li for life. Because if a child, if you say to a child, no, 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 don't do that, that child will not walk for a long time. But if you keep on saying to your child, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you're, in you're, you're, you're saying to that child, you can do it, you can press that onto their minds and that will say, yes, I can do it. So yeah. that's why this relaxed kids because it's a seven step and they're simple, it's very easy for children to learn and for adults as well. Um, so if I could start to explain about yes. um, the sequence. Um, it's um, seven steps. Um, I could show it. Yes, so show, show the, uh, yeah. the actual seven steps that we have. So, so we start with move, is that yeah. right? So the first one, because these children, they come from school or they're at home or, you know, children are full of energy. Mm -hmm. So the first step is called movement. And what we do here is we, we, I put on music, um, like the happy music. That is where we're all starting to dance. We're warming up. We're trying to get the energy going and we're feeling much better. Mm -hmm. So we start to play. So, for example, I say, come on, we're running up the mountain. We're at the, at the top of the mountain. Come on, what are we going to do? Start jumping up and down. Like we're fizzy lemonade, with different mm. types of games. So we're getting rid of the negativity that the kids have come in with, that very high energy, and we're getting them into the movement um, positions. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, I mean, each, each step is about five to ten minutes. So the second movement, um, it's called play. And here we start to play different games. I mean, what we're doing is we're trying to bring the children closer together because some children, they don't like to get closer to people. Yeah. So one of the games, for example, is called Huggy Bear. It's when I say Huggy Bear one, they just cuddle themselves. When I say two, they try to find a friend and they cuddle each other and it goes on three, four and so on. Right. So the children, you know, mentally, um, they think, oh, I'm grabbing my friend, but they're getting closer to each other. That's just one of the games. There's loads of games that we can play. Yeah. And the next one, we're going to start to try to lower their down their energies. So the third step is called stretch. So, I mean, I've got another um, leaflet I have here, which can show the different kinds of things that were, the children can do. Yeah. And this is called the stretch cards. And we can, I can say to the children, come on, let's be tall trees. And then we could say, okay, let's be beaming bats. They're stretching their muscles. Right. But at the same time, because you're using the words that children understand, they find it more enjoyable. So yeah. they're relaxing as fun, well. Fun words. Yes, Tall fun trees words. and beaming bats and yes. mighty mountains. Yes, yes. So children are enjoying themselves. Right. So once we're starting to stretch our muscles, with the children are feeling much better, we go on to feel, which is a massage, really. But when we say massage, we've got different ideas. Oh, what's that massage kind of thing? But there's different times that we do with children. We can do peer massages. Like, but some children are very ticklish, so yes. they don't like to be touched. Or don't, yeah. Yes, they go, oh, no, 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 don't do that kind of thing. But um, I say to them, have a go. Let's, you sit behind your friend, or we do a train 
a round circle, almost so we're on the train. Okay, we're in, we're, let's make a cake today. Come on, let's put the flour. So we're pretending we're putting flour behind their backs. Mm. And we're saying, come on, let's put some milk inside and some butter. We're making some dough. And then make them... Uh, yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> they're thinking they're making something, but they're massaging their friends. Right. So they take turns, they do it to their friends. That's one type of massage that we do, but we've got loads of different types that I can say to them. Yeah. And another type that we can do is self-massage. You can massage your, your arms, we can just massage. And then I say, let's massage our fingers mm. and appreciate we have these healthy fingers that help us in our daily lives. And another one that we can do is using different props. This is just one of them. Yeah. You, just, you can just rub it behind their friends and they find it more fun. Yeah, it's fun to, to not just use their hands physically, but no. to have a little toy to play yes, with in a yes. way. Yes, yes. So it's quite, it's quite fun, but at the same time, we're helping these children getting down mm -hmm. and they use, they're getting more calm and it, it's helping them at the same time. And then we're going to breathing. The breathing is we're teaching these children how to use their breaths properly, but in a fun way again. And we can do, I can say to them, okay, we're gonna blow out the candles of a cake. And then I say, take a deep breath. <sighs> but they're, they're breathing. Yeah. And then for example, I'm saying to them, okay, let's do some doggy breaths. And they're, <sighs> they're doing different <laughs> breaths at the same time. <laughs> but another one that we use, another apparatus we use. I, is, like, this, I like this prop. This, one, yes. this one's a, a good prop. <laughs> this is called the Hubberman's um, Spear. We just, <laughs> Breathe in. If okay. only they could our, see... Our cameramen are enjoying themselves. Yeah, the cameramen are, are following <laughs> us at the moment when they're watching what you're doing in yes. that. So. so, I mean, this could look like a very simple toy or this, someone might think, oh, is this another football? But yeah, kick it around it's it. not, it's Basically not. Kick it. <laughs> this is what we're using this for. I mean, and because it's so colourful, the colours can remain in your mind yeah. and so you're breathing at the same time. And I say, you, not everyone's got maybe one of these. You can just use your hands. Well, It does help. It does help. <laughs> so that's, that's the breathe part of the, uh, the another, seven steps. Another, another um, breathing is roller coaster breathing that we can ch um, teach children. We just use the hands yeah. and so we're pretending we're on a roller coaster. Right. And we just breathe in. Ah, up and down the roller coaster. Yes. <laughs> Simple but effective very, technique. Very effective. I mean, um, I even say to children, if you're trying to answer a question that your teacher's going to answer, you know in the classroom, children start to get very agitated and they're getting very nervous. Yeah. I say, put your hands underneath the desk and just do a little breathing and you'll feel much better. Do the roller coaster. Yes, the roller the coaster. <laughs> because if you're trying to say to the children, they, they can't do this in the middle of the room because their friends will be laughing at them. Yeah. So put your hand underneath the table. And so they do. Yeah. And then we come to the believe mm -hmm. section. In this section, we try to teach children how to be more um, positive about themselves. So I use different props for that as well. Um, say, for example, I use this. Mm. This is just a medal I got for running in the... Oh, I know. <laughs> in I the, in the, that. Yes. That's the SNT of fun running yes. medal, I think. I, did, I ran in that a few yes. years ago. So do I. I'm there as well. <laughs> So the children put this around their necks yeah. and I say to them, say to yourself, I'm a champion, believe yourself, I am a champion. And they start to say these words, which are affirmations, yeah. because if it's repeated all the time, children will believe it. So that's one of the things I say um, and I tell them to do. Another thing that I can, I can say to them is I, I take out a mirror yeah. and I say to them, so I say to because some children, even adults, they find it very difficult to look in the mirror because they just don't like what they see. Right. <laughs> but I just say, I look in the mirror and I say, I, I say at my, my own self at home, I yeah. say, I love myself. I say to children, say in the mirror, I love myself. Or just say, I am happy. I am marvellous. I am magnificent. You know, every week I say to them, say a different word. And I hope, and I say to them, look in the mirror and look into your eyes and believe and believe what you're saying yes as well. yes because wow, very simple but again very effective way to 
get them to feel a bit yes. more confident about themselves. Yes, yes, very, very important. Very important. Kids who might feel a little bit, you know, I'm not, I don't like what I see in the mirror. Exactly. We all have days like that. Exactly. We all, we all sometimes do. Yeah. feel that way. So yes. So that's an interesting this, way to these believe. are just little things that we can teach these children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the last one is called relaxation, which is we say visualizations. And um, on this um, step, which is the last step, we've got yoga mats. So I say to children, lie down on the yoga mat, um, the yoga mats, and then I've got um, lavender oil or whatever. I put it onto their foreheads to relax them down. Yeah. And then I can put blankets if they want some. And then um, I've got some books here. Um, it's called, for example, The Wishing. There's, there's loads of books that the the relax kids, yeah. How to be happy. That's another one. And there's another one that's, but these are just a few, little book of stars. Mm -hmm. um, and I read them for the children. So you read to the children yes. while they're on the yoga mats. Yes, and relaxing. I say. <laughs> they start, yes. Probably starting to sleep yes. maybe at the end of all this. They close their eyes and I say, just imagine you're in a big bubble. You can't touch anybody. Just be relaxed as if you're sleeping. You know, get in that position. I don't say to them, just like, you know, lie down in this, because they can't. Some want to lie on the side, or some want to lie on their stomachs. And I read to them. I mean, the words in the book, I feel like sleeping sometimes. It's like we're on the clouds. We're floating on the um, clouds, and the stars yeah. are there. <laughs> And they relax. They actually calm down. I can believe they down. do. Yeah. You've got such a lovely voice as well. I bet you when you're reading to them as yes. well. It's such oh, a, thank you very much. Children. No, but you do have a very, very relaxing manner yeah. about you as well. I like reading stories um, as well. So I can imagine that everyone <laughs> is relaxed after that. So those are the seven points. The seven steps. Seven steps of relaxing. Yes. Now, is that how you conduct your classes? So you go through each seven step in yes. one class? Yes, of course. Um, but the beginning, before I, I start, to do the seven steps. Yeah. This is what I do all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I've got this little love heart. And oh, yes. I say to the children, before we start our class, we hold hands mm -hmm. and in a circle. And we say, we are going to pass peace and love. And we squeeze each other's hands. So they squeeze. So we're sending each other peace and love around this, um, the room before mm -hmm. we start. And then we get our love, love heart which has been very old. And I say to them, put it next to you and believe, I love myself, my friends and family and everybody and everything else, which includes animals and the planet and everything. And I explain them to them. I say, you, you have to say, I love myself first, because if we don't love ourselves first, then you can't love we them. can't love anybody else really. So that's why I'm trying to put it into these children's minds at a very young age, Learn to love yourself. Because if you do, your life will be much more happier. So this is the second thing that I do. Mm -hmm. And then I explain to the children what we're going to be doing. And I do hang these up. Mm -hmm. So the children can be, you know, no, I say to them, OK, children, we're doing the movement. And then we're playing, playing. you know, the seven steps. So they know that we're doing the stretching. Stretch. And we're doing the feel. We're doing the breath. Mm -hmm. And we're doing the believe and we're relaxing <laughs> so children know what they're doing so after we've done the class the seven steps we do an activity time i try to keep it very simple because children you know their parents come in they want to be collected so i don't want to do it too long yeah one of the things that we did um this week at our class is um these pipe these these lovely little pipes, which are very helpful. Yeah. Um, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners. We just breathe. <laughs> we carry on doing this. And I say to them, you can put this on your arm as a bracelet. Yeah. Or put it in your pocket, put it at home, put it in your bag, put it wherever you want to. It's, you, can, you can carry this around with you. Yeah. So when you need to breathe, when you're feeling anxiety or if you're feeling stressed or you're feeling sad, you know, things that little children, you you think what problems have these children got? But they have got problems for themselves, you know, not to adults, but for themselves, they've got these little problems which they think they can't solve. And I say to them, breathe a little bit and you'll get back to yourself again and then you can solve anything you want. And so they love it. They enjoy it. I mean, this is one of them. Mm. And another one that I bought 
is this one. Okay, show us how it's you a, It's the this. jellyfish, you know. <laughs> they've done their little faces on it. Yeah. But all you do is just blow. I said to them, hang these up in your room. In your room. And you can blow on these as well. And you know, relaxes it's, them. Yes. It, it's right, you know, know, it controls their breathing as well, yes. I suppose. It, it's just, it's, um, you know, you can't believe how much effect these little things have got for children. Um, another thing that I... I did bring with me, but anyway, um, I've got these affirmation cards. Right. Um, I, I put them out onto the table. I say to them, let's pick one for yourself. So we give it a good shovel. Now, before we pick one out. Yes. Exactly what is an affirmation, just in case somebody out there who's watching the programme doesn't exactly know, I know what an affirmation is. Mm -hmm. uh, on the radio, I have a lovely lady. Uh, yes, I have a to her. link up to her home in Akova. Her name is Ali Smith, and okay. uh, she reads out affirmations. And I know what they are. Mm -hmm. It's things that you can have hanging around the house, yes. written down, yes. things that you should repeat again and again mm -hmm. and again. And it really does give that positive effect. So can you just tell me exactly what is an affirmation? Well, affirmations <clears> are <throat> words that are repeated constantly. Because if we, as we say, if you know, you're trying to ex um, revise for an exam, you keep on repeating the things that you're meant to learn so you can yeah. remember. Yeah. So, but with affirmations, they're simple little words or little sentences that if you keep on saying, then you will believe it. Yes. Say, for example, if you keep on saying to yourself, I can't do this, I, I, I can't do it. You know, if you keep on saying that, say, for example, for an exam. Yeah. You won't be able to do it. I can't pass. I won't pass. I won't pass it. It's just so difficult. You yeah. know, we hear this from all these children. But I always say to my children as well, you can do it. Why can't you do it? I will pass. I you will, will pass. pass. You will try and do your best. Mm -hmm. And so these little words, for example, um, I say to the children, I am happy. Say to yourself, I am happy. And so mm -hmm. they start to say it. So I give them a, an affirmation, a little word every week for themselves. And I've got... Um, I've given these pieces of rope and I've got little pegs on them. And every, word, every week I give them a different word. And I say, you hang this up every week. And when you go past, say, for example, you've hanged it in your bedroom or on your bedroom door or wherever you can see it, repeat that word. Say, for example, this week, I am happy. Next week, I am brave. You know, every single week. Happy, brave. Marvellous, fantastic. Beautiful. I'm strong. <laughs> you know, there's so many beautiful words that children can use. Yeah. So they look at that. So they like these ones. Say, for example, I'll, ch I'll, I'll shuffle it and then you could pick a one. For okay, yourself. let me pick one. So, so what they do is they, they choose a, um, yes. an affirmation. Affirmation. And that becomes the affirmation for that day. For that, for that week. For that week. For that, until, for that so week. it's a weekly uh, session yes, that you're talking about weekly, when you yes. have your relaxed kids' classes. Yes. So, okay, this week, Fizz is coming to the studio with me. Although, <laughs> I'm sh it's a shame that you can't come here every week and do an affirmation for <laughs> yes. me every week. But, okay, Thank so you. this week, I'm in your class. And I've now, I'm now going to choose an affirmation. So, um, well, I'm going to be a typical boy and choose something blue. Because okay. uh, that's my favourite colour. I always wear blue here. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so I am a gentle star. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> gentle. Today, I will be gentle with everyone. That's well, actually, nice. that could be a good one for adults. Yes. You know, when yes. you're um, at work, and maybe you're in a, you know, sometimes you're in a, a negative mood. We don't realise that we're nasty. No. So... Be gentle. It's a good way to actually focus yes. on something. Yes, yes. Be very. more gentle today. Be more kinder to people. Exactly. Obviously, gentle is a bit of a, a nice word for children, but yeah. maybe in an adult, it could be, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a kind star or a calmer star today. Yes, yes. Um, and of course, these are really um, important for the children. Very important. Because very it's important. all positivity. So let me go back to the children who come to your classes. <coughs> Because I know that you are starting here in North Cyprus, and I, mm -hmm. I know you, you are from Chatalkwe at the moment. Yes, I'm in Chatalkwe. That's where you're living. Yes. And I think you've, you've gone to a school, haven't you? Just yes. Just Chatalkwe yeah. Primary School? Yeah, I've gone to that school. To do some classes there? Yes, yes. Um, I went a couple of weeks ago. I spoke mm -hmm. to the headmaster. Yeah. A very nice uh, man, very helpful. And he's very interested mm -hmm. in helping his school to come to a more of a higher standard is in mental ways with children. Yeah. So I had to speak with the teachers as well. And um, I just suggested, you know, one of the things that I suggested, I mean, before I forget that as well, um, this is a called a calm jar. Calm jar. Yeah. Um, and this, this is something that you've actually made, isn't it? Yes, you can make this, these. I made these at home. You can make it as well. 
This is showing how our mind is working constantly. Now, this is something for the adults, by the way. Aren't yes. There? If you're watching, this is this is for adults as well. It's for everybody. 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 Not even, for children. I even tried it with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and did the dog relax? She, <laughs> she was looking as if, what is this happening? What's happening here? Right. And this is just showing how our mind is. It's all got different thoughts and yeah. problems, and even by looking at this and trying to breathe. And so this is all, everything's going on in our mind, it's all yes. a swirl of things, too many thoughts in one go. Yes, yes. But sit down, calm down, and look how it all settles down. Yes, this is how it settles calmness. down. Into calmness. That's why we need to be calm, Yes, we, isn't it? we have to try to be calm. We have to. It doesn't happen overnight. It will take some time. Mm -hmm. But when you come to that state where your mind is very relaxed and you're happy and content, the feeling that you are feeling, it's undescribable because you're very happy. So, Fezza, you've started this, um, well, you've gone to the Chathalkoe Primary School, yes. spoke with the headmaster and done a few classes. But let's say, I mean, who would you, would you recommend this to all children in all classes, yes. in all schools? Yes. Or is it something that maybe, because um, the reason why I'm asking you now is in North Cyprus at the moment, I mean, in the UK, we have special needs classes. Mm -hmm. Or if a child is autistic or dyslexic, mm -hmm or maybe has ADHD, yeah. you know, is very hyperactive. Mm -hmm. There are certain classes here, and now in North Cyprus, we're becoming more, rec we're recognising these. Yes. Um, I wouldn't say disabilities, it's no, unfair no, to say no. disabilities, no, but no. maybe learning difficulties. Of course, of course. However, sometimes we are easy now to label, you know, maybe naughty yeah. kids or kids with high energy as being, you know, yes. uh, oh, you know, they've got um, deficiency problems or, you know, attention deficiency problems. Mm -hmm. But not always is that the case. Or you, should, you shouldn't put them on medication straight away. I mean, there are some kids who are on medication who may be needed. But it, would you say that really some kids are hyperactive and sending them to relaxed kids' classes or doing these classes would help them to come down, calm down? Yes. For instance, kids, when they go to school break, they're having a break for 15 minutes outside. Can you imagine what it's like after that 15 minute break yes. and they go back to the class again and you've got like English or maths coming up? I know. Oh my God. It probably is a nightmare for the teacher, teacher. to get them to calm down again after yes. being running around in the, in the, uh, in you know, the play school playground, ground, playground yes. playing football or mm -hmm. whatever. That's, that you've just uh, touched on the point that I was going to suggest, or not suggest, but just tell you what I did. When yeah. I went into the staff room, I showed them this calm box and I, and I said, the calm John, I said, you know, this is what, how everybody is and all the children as well. And I said, the children are going out into the playground now, they're for 15 minutes, whatever. Yeah. And they come back and the teacher spends about 10 minutes trying to calm them down, put your books out, be quiet, don't shuffle your chairs, what have you. I said, instead of doing this, if, hopefully this will happen one day, I believe. Um, if you was to say to the children, come in, close your eyes for 60 seconds. Calm yourselves down. Just count inside you for 60 seconds. Those children will start to calm down. They will be more relaxed and they will think, okay, I've calmed down now. Playtime is over, now I'm in my lesson. And the teachers really did like my idea. I said, that's all you need to do, 60 seconds, just to bring the energies down because you can't expect the child that's been running around for 15 minutes to come and open their book and start studying. So of course. they said, yes, that's good. But I'm suggesting these things. It's up to the school and the teachers to put this into practice. But are there classrooms around the world that are doing this? Are yes. there teachers who yes. are using that they are. Uh, they are. way to get the kids ready for the next class, next lesson? As you said, I mean, you know, they're running around, but obviously you don't have time to go through the whole seven relaxation no, techniques. No. You know, you've got to start your lesson no, you at can't. one point. So the quickest way is just to take a deep seconds. breath, count to 60. Yes, and then begin the class. And, begin the class. and everyone will be much happier. Or maybe do this. But everyone, yeah. everyone, look at this. <laughs> and everyone's looking at your, yeah. looking at the, the calm wonderful job. colours. And then again, it'll probably take about a minute for that to calm down. Yes. And the kids are calm as well. Or maybe all kids should have this in their classrooms. And <laughs> maybe the teachers it. should. Yeah, I think I that'd mean, be a good idea. Yes, yeah, I mean that's what I've seen on a few occasions in different yeah. places. I don't need to mention anything, but labelling, as you just said. I mean, you go, in, you go somewhere, and as soon as you go in, the teacher says, this class is a very talkative class. They're, not, they're, they're, they're very disobedient. And before you're starting to get into what you're teaching, you've labelled these children as yeah. being noisy and disruptive, and they're not listening, and so on. And I don't think that's right. You know, labelling children, because I've had that with my own children, yeah. labelling, oh, that's the naughty one. That's the talkative one. 
but try to teach these children things that they will learn to stop them being so talkative. You know, it's, it's very easy to criticise people, especially yeah. children, but that sticks to them like glue. And so that's why I, I feel very um, upset sometimes, really, when I can see people outside as well saying to their child, you're so naughty, or you're so silly, or so you're so clumsy. You're labelling that child, and that child will grow up like that. I know it's not easy bringing up children, because I've brought up two children myself. And I know nowadays, parents, both parents are working. So there's a lot of stress on all parents. Yes. But from a young age, if we teach these children different techniques, instead of saying to this child, OK, you might have touched and broke that, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to say, oh, you're so stupid. You know, the words are so powerful. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. I mean, you know, labelling that child probably does more damage than maybe a little smack on, yes, the, yes, on, the, on yes. the knee or, 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 or on, on the, the arm or something yes, like that. Yes, yes. It's very true what you're saying here because a lot of kids, let's say a kid who is in primary school one and quite hyperactive, a bit of a naughty child in, in the class, that child gets labelled that way. Yes. And that child then plays up to that and becomes even naughtier. Yeah. Whereas, like you're saying, if you don't label them, and just say, you know, okay, calm down now, you know, you, you, you've had your fun now, it's time to do some lessons and not label them as you naughty boy. No. And even if a couple of kids in the class are naughty, as again, that whole class is able to, oh, what, what a difficult class that class exactly. is. I've exactly. already got a really bad class this year, so I'm teaching, and that's it. <laughs> the whole class is labelled yes. just because two or three kids yes. might be naughty. The whole class plays up to that. Of course, again. of course. Unfortunately. 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 It's the truth. I mean, some, some of the children that do come to my class, they're not angels. I can see that they're running from one side to the other side and I try to calm them down. And I, you know, there's one child in particular. He's a bit active, but I had active children as well, so I know what it's like. And the parents, as soon as she comes with, oh, what has he done? I said, no, nothing at all. He's been okay. I choose him to be my helper, for example. I say to him, is this the movement you don't want to do? Okay, sit out. Just sit out for five minutes, but then he sees his friends having so much fun, he's in the group again. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, children are just so innocent. I mean, I had another child, um, a, a little girl, very polite, very quiet. She wouldn't call, you know, she wouldn't put up her hand or anything. And by the end of these lessons, she was putting up her hand and she wanted to answer the questions and she was finding it very difficult, which is very sad to say, trying to cuddle her mum. She couldn't cuddle her mum. She, she didn't feel, you know, comfortable. And the mum said to me, I don't know how to thank you after the six weeks. Well, it was a bit more than six weeks I had her with me. Yeah. I said, you know, thank you, but why are you thanking me? She said, the relationship with my daughter is, I can't explain to you, she has changed so much with you. I said, what, how, wait? She comes up to me and she cuddles me and she says, mummy, I love you, which she never used to say before. I Amazing. used to say it to her, I used to say it to her, she says, as wow. a mum, I love you. She never used to say it to me. She, she was a bit more, I wouldn't like to say frigid, but she just couldn't express herself. But now, she's, that, yes. She's free, yes, she's happy to touch, she's, cuddle yes, And she mom. can talk better in class. She says to me, I put, I put up my hand now and I ask questions. I say to her, because I always say to her, well, not just to her, to all of the children, you know, have the confidence to just put up your hand and answer that question. You may get it wrong, but at least you've tried. And yeah. next time you will try to get the answer right. It's amazing, you know. Obviously, children and confidence is an important thing. How you bring them up at an early age, yes. that continues into, you know, teenager yeah. and into adulthood. So it's very important to catch these youngsters at a very early age if they do have sort of like issues with feeling, you know, not, you know, not confident enough or too shy or they can't mm -hmm. touch feel with <laughs> yeah. their, I mean with I mean you wouldn't expect that with a mother and daughter relationship yes. you know you think they'd be cuddling kissing all the time but, but you guys show about oh, what a good thing for you that you've actually broken yes. that barrier down yes. for them and I'm very happy. Now, yes. it makes you your job worthwhile or your yeah. your class is very much uh, very important uh, I like this calendar that you brought in and uh, yes. it's same, um, we can't hang it up it's very uh, big, a bit but big you've got a calendar for each day of the uh, well, a, a, a day for what, each yeah. day of the calendar Thanks, kids. Now, the day that this program is recorded, which is the 16th of March, it says here, believe in yourself. Yes. That's the day. However, the day that this program is aired, which is in two days' time, on Saturday, the 18th of March, mm. 
Wake up and smile. What oh. a good way, because this program is actually on in the morning. So wake up and smile and watch Lovely. this program. Lovely. But really nice. So, you know, you have everything around you in, the, in, in your area is all very <laughs> positive, very encouraging, but very simple, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't take a lot to think about no. these things. No, 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 no. But actually, we don't do this on a daily basis, do we? I mean, that's what I was thinking. I mean, everybody, as I said before, everybody's busy, busy, busy. But for in the evenings, even after a meal, my own family. We don't, we have the television on, but it's, the volume is on zero, no mm -hmm. volume at all. And we like to have a, a talking time. Everybody talks about what they did that day. Nobody lips off the plates or the forks, that can wait. Mm -hmm. There's no rush, there's no competition. So we all talk about what we've been doing that day. We talk about it for at least half an hour and then everybody goes and do, does what they're, doing, what they're gonna do. But for example, um, the families today, by even closing the televisions five minutes and just gathering and even putting on a relaxation cassette or, you know, everything is so available, just open your phone, put it onto YouTube. And with your family, just say, we're going to close our eyes and we're going to listen to this music. I mean, the children will find it funny at the beginning, but mm. if you keep on doing it constantly, this will become a habit. Don't watch the diseases I say on the television. Yeah. I see them as diseases because they're catchy. Yeah. Because you go somewhere and they say, oh, did you watch that? And they go, oh no, I better start watching that. So for five days a night, five days in the week, everybody yeah. is watching these diseases. But don't watch these diseases. Watch it while your child's gone to bed. Yeah. But before these children go to bed, Try to do this as you're, because we're all trying to eat healthy nowadays. Oh, healthy this, healthy that. But if we're not he, um, putting healthy thoughts into our minds, that healthy eating is not helping at all. Because our mind is getting poisoned with all our thinking of, oh, this and that. And, you know, it's not very nice feelings. But yeah. healthy mind will give us a healthy body as well. Quality time with the family is very important. And I noticed recently uh, with my son, I mean, he was also, uh, he's only uh, seven and a half and addicted already to television and watching cartoons or whatever. He, does like, he likes to draw and whatever. Yeah. But I now, with the warmer weather, decided to go for walks with him around, yeah. go to the park. And he's really enjoying it. He's not saying, no, I'd rather be at home. So really, that's an alternative. The yes. kids use that as an escape room because nothing else to do at home because mother and dad are not offering anything else for them to exactly. do so of course the tv goes on straight away because exactly. what else are they going to do mum and dad are on the telephone or exactly. you know, facebook tablet or you know on facebook or whatever <laughs> guilty 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 but um but actually no after they come home from school when you come home from work take a, a few minutes to go for a walk half an hour even is enough to just exactly. go out go to the park or go for a walk around exactly. the you know around the area exactly. and come back and then do what you want to do, and that actually calms the child down. Exactly, They'll probably do their homework better because they're more relaxed, of re course. refreshed. Of course, because this needs on the relaxed kids means relax family, relax <laughs> yes. everything. Doesn't relax it? everything, really. I mean, I mean, life is a balance. If we're having to watch television all the time, our life will be out of balance. Mm -hmm. That's with, with children as well. If these, because in this country especially, everybody is so concerned about their marks and their grades, they're not thinking about these children's minds. They have a mind. Not yeah. everything is getting 10 or 100 in your exams. I'm sorry, but that is the way that people are in this country, especially. I'm not, I'm not going to put down the country because maybe in England as well, but here, because even at primary school, you're getting reports with zero to 10 or it's ABC now yeah. and you go to the playground and these parents are all waiting oh what have my child got yeah. and then they say oh did you get all 10s, oh, all get all tens? And, and you know okay <laughs> not everything's academic yeah. I mean that child could get a 10 but hasn't got confidence even to lift up their hand in class or they don't even know how to share with their friends you know so or maybe a child gets a five or a C or a D, exactly. but actually might be a very good pianist exactly. or a footballer. They have or, better skills somewhere else. Or, you know, might be um, a great artist. But that's what I mean in um, the, the educational system in this country. Because of these gradings from a young age, they're all put onto this competition line of these children. Because parents, when they meet, oh, what did your child get? Oh, my one got this one. You know, all competition. So that's why I'm saying if we keep everything in a balance, and if we try to involve our children in things that calms their mind, not just giving tablets in their hands, not just giving them PlayStation to play with, these kinds of suitable, healthy time with our children, it's going to be more better for all of the family in the long run. This is what Very I believe. Very important point. Happy child, happy home. Exactly. Happy family. Exactly. 
Fezile, before we say goodbye, we'd like, I'd like to ask you about your classes now. Uh, aside from, we briefly mentioned earlier on about you going to your local primary school, mm -hmm. are you now set up doing classes yes. at home or going to other schools? How does it work now? How can we reach yes. you? Um, I've got a Facebook um, page, Relax Kids Cyprus. Mm -hmm. um, I've got all the information there. You can send me um, a text or message through yeah. there as well. There's a market in our area called Shah Market. Yeah. There's a recreation room at the top. Um, I'm hiring that out at the moment and I'm starting to get classes. I mean, the classes can be 10 children, six children. It doesn't really matter. At the moment, it's six children. Age range? They're five-year-olds. Five-year-olds. I've had seven and eight-year-olds. I did classes in the SOS um, village for the children there as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to be heard around the island so right. I can visit other schools and help them with their um, breathing techniques and whatever. And when do you, I mean, for instance, let's say you, you, you said that you, at the supermarket, you, you're hiring it out now. Yes. Are these um, relaxed kids' lessons, classes, are they after school, yes. weekends? Yes. What time, roughly, well, generally, are it, you available? Well, at the moment, it's quarter past four on the Tuesday evening I'm having classes. Right. But so if once people get in contact with me, and then I can um, get groups together, and then with the age groups, and I can all put them all together, so then I can start the classes. And this is for everyone? Everyone, It doesn't yes. have to be... Um, don't think of it as a labelling naughty kids no, or kids no, or no, hyperactive. No, no. For all children. Any children. All children. All children should maybe... From the age least, of four. From the age of four onwards, should do yes. a, at least one relaxed kids yes, class to yes. find their, you know, to find their own inner <laughs> self. Inner self. Which, yeah, inner self. Inner happiness. To love and approve of themselves. We all need that. Yes. Adult classes ever in the future? Do you, yes, do we yes, need, I am we going have to have adult relaxed classes. adults as well yes. coming up in the future. Yes, we can. There yes, is. we can. But um, can I get out your mobile phone here? Yes, of course. Right. Um, for Fezle Karakurt, it's 0533 862 7549. That's 0533 862 7549. And uh, you can contact uh, Fezile and uh, she'll make a meeting with you. I mean, maybe if another, maybe if a school teacher or yes. somebody else out there has read or has watched this now or found out more about you, mm -hmm. can you go to other schools maybe yes. even to certain classes? Yes, I have yeah, been you're... offered um, yeah? of other schools as well to go mm -hmm. but I wanted it to be able to do this in my own area first yeah. and then to spread out to spread and out, to fly right. around like a bird uh -huh. and hopefully to help as many children as possible and that is my passion to help as many children as possible you know what I think you're going to be helping a lot of people here in all Cyprus hopefully uh, thank you for bringing relaxed kids to the TRNC thank you very much good luck with your venture Good luck with the kids, because it's not easy working with children, but it must be very rewarding for you very when you rewarding. see their smiling faces. Yes, yes. And that story about that mother and daughter cuddling and saying I love you to each other, yes. it just makes your day, doesn't it, at the end of yes, the day? Yes, it does. It makes does. it all worthwhile. Yes. Fizzle, thank you for enlightening us and bringing all these wonderful... Uh, thank you very much. ...a piece of equipment that you use. Not equipment, it's actually good fun <laughs> things for all of us yes, to use. Yes, um, I mean, that we have around the house even. There's even things I haven't even uh, told you about, which I should be doing another programme. <laughs> yes, maybe another time you'll come again when you've got yes. more and more um, things to share with us yes. again. Next time I'll explain about the brain, how the brain actually works and right. how relaxed kids right. will be helping here. us. <laughs> We're yes. going to now say, use your brain, Take your kids to relax kids, <laughs> meet with Fizzler, a lovely lady who Thank you. really has Thank you a lot for to inviting share. me. Thank you for coming down again to the VR. I just didn't realise how the time was passed. I know, I told you, you thought, you thought the time was going to go by slowly, no. but it's gone by very quickly. <laughs> we could speak until the cows come home, but the cows have arrived now. And to meet again for another cup of conversation, a big thank you to Fezle Karakurt and for you for watching. Be relaxed and be with Bairag. Until the next week, take care. Bye bye.